Hi everybody, and welcome to ZTV Live. I'm Susan Mulligan Fleischman, and I'm excited to speak with our guests tonight, the chefs of the Gourmet Angel Food Bank. But first, I'd like to thank the sponsors of tonight's show. Delia's is delightful. Located on Swamp Fox Road near the AMC Hoffman, Delia's offers indoor and outdoor dining plus carryout and specializes in brick oven pizza and Mediterranean cuisine. Visit deliasbrickovenpizza.com and make your reservation now for Father's Day. Mention the zebra for 15% off your order. And Taste of Asia, which offers a variety of cuisines including Japanese, Thai, and Chinese food. In addition to excellent sushi, try their eggplant and garlic sauce, pineapple fried rice, and hot and sour soup. Located in Alexandria's West End, visit tasteofasiaalexandria.com to see their menu and takeout options. ZTV Live is also sponsored by Tempa Restaurant, Alexandria's best kept secret on Duke Street in the West End. Specializing in Northern Italian and French cuisine, award-winning Tempo is well known for its delectable seafood and tantalizing desserts. Visit temporestaurant.com to see their menu, including beer and wine to go. Mention the zebra for 10% off meals on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And a la Lucia on Old Town's North End at 315 Madison Street. Check out the Father's Day specials in addition to their daily specials at alalucia.com. They have deals on pizzas and bottles of wine to go Mondays through Thursdays. Remember to mention the zebra. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. If you'd like to be a sponsor, please send us an email at editor at the zebra.org. In local news today, the staff at Alexandria's Workforce Development Center knows that people are out of work and they want to help. They are promoting the Virginia Career Works Alexandria slash Arlington virtual job fair on July 15th. It will take place from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and there's no cost to attend. Job seekers will be able to network with employers via chat rooms and video. This fair will also provide the opportunity to apply for jobs and to participate in interviews. Job seekers and employers, please see the story on the Zebra website at thezebra.org for details. The Workforce Development Center has also teamed up with AARP Virginia to offer a job skills webinar. The session will focus on networking and interviewing. The hour-long learning opportunity takes place next Thursday, June 25th at 2 p.m. The webinar is free to attend, but registration is required. See the article on thezebra.com for full details. And we have Lucella Flaherty to thank you for this wonderful photograph of the Mount Vernon Community School where the fifth, grader, fifth graders graduated today. And they were recognized with their names posted on the school's fence. It's a big day for them as they say goodbye to elementary school and they head to middle school in the fall. And now I am so pleased to introduce you to the chefs and the brains behind the Gourmet Angel Food Network. I believe my first guest is Miss Sherry Butler. Hi, Sherry. Welcome to ZTV Live. Hello, Susan. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. Good. Well, thank you so much for coming on our show today. Um, do you want to just maybe spend a couple of minutes and, and explain to us what the Gourmet Food Angel, the Gourmet Angel Food Bank is all about and, and what what role you play in it? Sure, sure. So the Gourmet Angel Food Bank is a, a group of people we've gotten together to provide free meals for those who were impacted by the pandemic in the DMV area. Um, it originated from one of our church members, a member of Alpha Street Baptist Church, Michelle Everett, also known as um, Chef Shelley, and she called me as I'm the president of the entrepreneurship ministry to tell me she wanted to do something to help out during the pandemic while her kitchen was closed. And we were looking for ways to help feed people who were impacted. So with that idea, uh, we began a food bank. I reached out to another member of the entrepreneurship ministry, Sister Reba Burris Barnes, who you'll meet in just a minute. 
Um, and she reached out to people she knew and we had a location, everything worked together. So we began a food bank where individuals who are impacted can register via Eventbrite for free gourmet meals. Now, Susie, these are not the normal meals that you see from a food bank. These are meals that are made um, by our chefs that you will meet in a minute, uh, where families may pay anywhere from you know five hundred to eight hundred dollars for a meal. Um, so we're we're packaging those meals and we are providing them by registration and appointment only. So you'll be scheduled an appointment and you would drive in. Because of the pandemic, we do ask that when you come to pick up your meal, that you have your face covered, have a face mask on, make sure you have your ticket, and we will bring your bag of meals to the car. They're already labeled and packaged and ready to go. That's fantastic. How nice How nice to offer, you know, gourmet level restaurant food instead of, you know, I mean, while everybody is thankful for food at, a, at, at any food bank or shelter, it's nice to be spoiled with, with <laughs> fine cuisine. Yes, exactly. So I'm going to introduce you to uh, Reba Burns-Born. She's our publicist. So she's going to tell um, you a little more about how um, if someone wants to volunteer to help us out, if they want to donate, Terrific. and a little more about the food bank. Okay, Sherry, thank you so much. Thank you, Susan. Sure. Good evening, Susan. Hi, Reba. It's great to see you. I just want Thank everybody you. in the audience to know that I've been working with Reba for, I believe, since last week was the first day that we uh, connected. And uh, Reba is a powerhouse. And it's just been a joy to work with you um, to get all this information and to get everybody or, uh, organized for today. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the um, about your role in the, with the Gourmet Angel Food Bank? We, we're working around the clock as far as getting the word out for the PR for this project. It's a real honor to be, invi be invited by Sherry and to meet the wonderful chefs that are involved. And so my goal is to send out the word through the Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter to send out uh, information to our various friends in the community who might know people who might be in armed services, you know, as far as being, a, a, what's the word I want to say, retired military people, folks who might need feed their families, can have a gourmet meal. And the main goal is to have them register for each meal for three days per week on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And they may register now on Eventbrite mm -hmm. for the gourmet meal food bank. And there's also an 800 number for that as well, Susan. It's 1-800-268-0448. And we're also getting more people to become our volunteer drivers in case of deliveries that needed to be done. But we prefer to have the people come now to our new location to pick the meals up. And that's going to be at Mount Jezreel Baptist Church, 317 North Payne Street, Washington, Alexander, Virginia. And the zip code is 22314. Okay. So that's um, our main goal is to have the people know how to reach us. That's fantastic. And I'm going to, I'm going to put that in the, I'm going to put all of that in the comments too. So people can, whoever's watching this will be able to see it in the comments. Thank you. Thank you, Reba, very much. No problem. And now, Chef Shelly, am I correct? Chef Shelly's coming over now. Okay, Reba, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. And you too. Good and there evening. she is. Hi, Chef Shelly. Hi, Susan. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much for coming on ZTV Live and telling us all about this really fantastic program that you that you really uh, created. I believe that this is your brainchild for the most part, is it not? It is. I mean, the Gourmet Angel Food Bank is an extension of my personal chef business, which is also called the Gourmet Angel. Where did that Where did that name come from? Um, my grandmother. Um, she was the original Gourmet Angel, and a she was a member of Mount Joshua Baptist Church, where we're going to be distributing from until her death 31 years ago. And uh, this was also my original home church. Oh, I love that. That's a, a nice little, a nice little, little round circle. How did you come about? What's, what, tell us a little about your background in becoming a chef. Um, I'm a third generation cook in my family. Uh, both of my grandmothers were cooks. My grandmother on my father's side owned a local soul food restaurant on Queen Street called Phoebe's. And my grandma, Martha, who is the gourmet angel, was a family style caterer. 
So it's a double dose. And even my mother dabbled in the food service industry for a while. Excellent. And um, uh, where did you, what, what kind of food do you specialize in? Or what's your, what's your culinary in- inspiration? It's a little all over the place. I presently work as a um, personal chef, so you have to know a lot about a lot of things, a lot of cuisines. Um, I really enjoy cooking North African cuisine, and that is somewhat of a specialty area for me, as well as Creole and Cajun, because I spent some time living in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. But I do it all, French, Italian, Mediterranean, fusion. Oh, that's fantastic. Whatever your clients want. I mean, when you're the personal chef, you really, as you said, you really need to, can't really specialize in one specific area. No, a travel chef has to deliver on many different levels. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it all sounds delicious, especially New Orleans. Their food, the food in New Orleans is just so delicious. Um, it's, and- it's, it's a unique region, you know, of its own and unto itself. Um, a lot of people love coming into New Orleans for the food, but you know what? When you live there, uh, you, you get over Cajun and Creole. It becomes a little bit too much. It's not as diverse as some other areas in the world. Yeah, yeah. But they I do suppo- it really well, but you're going to be limited. I suppose that's true. The music tends to smooth everything over. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, what, what, as a chef, would you consider some of your – uh, accomplishments that you've had in your career? What, do, what are you most proud of? That's a tough question. Um, I'm proud of a lot of areas of my, of my career, but I think I am currently most proud of this project because this project touches my heart. It's in my hometown where I was born and raised. Though I have not lived here for a very long time, I left in 1982 and only returned home in January of 2018, but it feels good to be home and I get to touch a lot of people who touched some chapters of my life along the way. So right now and today, I would say this is a project that I'm very, very proud of. I'm very proud to have worked for the late Barbara Smith. I was Barbara Smith's um, entertainment director for a very long time at B. Smith's Restaurant and Rooftop Cafe. And that was um, a highlight in my life because she was an incredible person to work with, wonderful person to be around and a great leader. Oh, well, that's a, she sounds like quite, she sounds like quite a gal. And I know that you, um, had a company called the Chubby Biscuit as well. Was that here? I still do have a company called the Chubby Biscuit. Oh, you do? Um, we are, yeah, we have, we very much are alive. We exist uh, over in Washington, DC. So we're a wholesaler. So we, um, we're supposed to launch on April 7th and go into seven gourmet supermarkets in the DC area. But due to the COVID-19 situation, I put that on hold. I just didn't feel good about um, launching a new, this is actually a new uh, area for us. We exist in New York and we've existed in New Orleans, but the DMV would be a new market for us. And this bad timing, bad timing. Yeah. Yeah, it is, it is very tough timing to begin anything new. But the timing has turned into serendipitous for you with this Gourmet Angel Food Project. Oh, definitely. I mean, this has been a blessing. Um, from, it's been a blessing for me to bless others. Uh, yeah. isn't, that, isn't that the truth? It's so often that it ha- happens when you help others, you're really helping yourself and you just don't even... Absolutely. You don't even... It's always better to give. Absolutely. Yep, it sure is. And um, what, what um, gave you the idea to you know, give gourmet food, uh, uh, to, to people. Were you itching to make things? Because obviously your business would have dried up a little bit because of the pandemic. It it put, uh, both my businesses on pause. Um, and I just kind of thought it would be a really, really cool thing to do. Plus, of course I want to (laughs) cook. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Your hands were ready to do something. (laughs) Exactly. I want to cook. So, um, it just kind of, you know, it was a very, very like, flip it, spare the moment. Um, the COVID-19 situation happened. It just seemed like it came out of nowhere. And in my mind, I was just like, okay, well, uh, what am I going to do with myself? What am I going to do with my time? I want to make sure I continue to cook. So it just seemed like the right thing to do. Yeah. I mean, it was just an incredible client that was willing to give very generously and bankroll it. That's fantastic. That, it's always nice to have somebody doing that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and is there is there a Facebook page for uh, for this project, or what's what's really the best well, um, or for you? Go ahead. 
bank. And um, I believe Sherry has built a Facebook page or it will be live soon okay. um, as well as the website because we're going to continue the project. I mean, I thought that the project would probably be very temporary until the cities open back up. But um, Sherry is still getting phone calls every day, even though we've taken a hiatus and a break for a couple of weeks because we were all exhausted. Yeah. To be honest with you, I think we worked more in this project than I work in my life every day. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. Okay, well, that's so good. I, mean, I believe that the Facebook page and the website will go live this coming Sunday. Okay. Terrific. Well, well, we'll take a look for that, and people should just look for the Gourmet Angel Food Project there. And I would imagine that you, um, it would be a place to get information if people wanted to make, you know, to donate any any money to the cause or to uh, volunteer uh, to help with deliveries or any other needs that you might need help with packing up or. Um, and then obviously if people were in the, in need and wanting to register to get get the deliveries, they could find the information there as well. Correct. Absolutely. Absolutely. Terrific. Great. Well, um, thank you, Shelly, so much for coming on ZTV Live and, and for starting this program. Uh, when Reba uh, sent us an email about it, we knew we wanted to to share it with our with our with our viewers. And so um, and we can thank your grandmother for giving you such a wonderful inspiration for your work and, and, and the name of the project. Well, thank you for having us. And now I'm going to turn you over to Sean Longley. To is LaPierre and a protege of mine. Thank oh, you again. Oh, and a protege of yours. Fantastic. <laughs> Hi, Chef Sean. Hello. Hello. How are, How you? are you? It's I'm good to well. see you. Good. Very thank good you. to see you. Thank you so much. And welcome to ZTV Live. And thank you for joining us today and making time in your, what I know is a very busy schedule. Um, sure. Why don't you start out by telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, well, um, uh, I'm a native of the uh, D.C. and Maryland area. Um, um, went to school out in Baltimore. Um, did um, IT, uh, but I've been cooking since high school, um, just for a long time. And then uh, decided to try to take this a little bit more mainstream. My whole family is Jamaican, um, so I come from a family of a lot of cooking and a lot of good food. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, from there, um, I guess that's where I get a lot of my inspiration of cooking and doing dishes. And I have a lot, do a lot of entertaining. And I said, you know what? Maybe I need to share some of these talents that I have um, with other people. Um, and that's how I actually met uh, Chef Shelley. Uh, what happened is that <clears throat> my wife knows I love to cook. And uh, what she did is she brought in a private chef for me for my birthday. But to do a little spin on things, what happened is she did is that since I like to cook, she said, well, instead of you just preparing a meal, I want you to work alongside with, uh, with me in the kitchen preparing my own birthday meal. Oh, I love so it. Put you to work. <laughs> for my own birthday meal. But uh, that's when I first met uh, Chef Shelley. And the, um, two years later now, we've been really close friends. And she started up this, um, the, uh, the Gourmet Angel Bank food bank and she asked me if I could actually be a part to uh, to bring some of my um, my pizzazz and some of my Caribbean uh, type cooking and I said I would love to um, so I worked with she's been working with me and learning different regions and different dishes and and my specialty is Caribbean with also uh, a lot of Creole because my uh, wife is from Louisiana so I start to do a lot of Caribbean and Creole dishes mixed together with also a little bit of uh, South France. Oh, boy, my mouth is watering, hearing, hearing all of you guys talk about <laughs> so, this delicious food. Um, yeah. uh, well, that, that that is fantastic. And then did Chef Shelley reach out to you when she had the idea of the Gourmet Angel Food Bank? She did, she did. And uh, like I was saying earlier, um, I saw the vision that she, she was trying to do uh, when it came down to that. So um, I said, hey, whatever you need, I'm going to be there for you to try to uh, support um, this need, especially then when COVID came about, um, where we were standstill with a lot of our businesses. And, and I just kind of started mine up off the ground and then COVID hit. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know what? I like to keep cooking and I like to give back. Um, so when she came with the idea, I said, hey, I'll be there as much as I can to now share some of my uniqueness to other people that probably might have not really have gotten it because they've not gone to 
a lot of high-end restaurants, you would get these type of dishes. Mm -hmm. So now people get to experience these things without having to pay the top dollar. Wow. So generous of you guys. Yeah. That's, 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 that's really wonderful. Have you gotten uh, feedback from, uh, from the people that you guys are feeding and like, are they, it's going to be hard for them to go back to their regular, their regular <laughs> food. <laughs> yeah. The, um, uh, you know, of course the, um, I'm not a part of too much of the feedback because I'm just busy kind of preparing meals and, and doing shopping and working with, with uh, Chef Shelley and, everything with that so but i hear great things that they just love it and it helps me motivate it because you know i always want to get criticism what did mm -hmm. you think is it too spicy is it too salty yeah. is it too bland? Is it this you're, you're always your own worst critic right yes absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely so it brings joy that people really appreciate um the food um, yeah it really it really does so it, it keeps me motivated that's great that's it great does. and cooking really is about kind of giving and sharing with people Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's an art. It's an art. Yeah. Oh, I think so too. I think so too. Yeah. Um, well, do you have, um, and your and you want to tell us a little bit about your business or your restaurant? Where, where is that? Oh, well, I don't have a restaurant. Um, um, I don't think that's the area I want to go with the actual restaurant. Uh, but what we do is providing uh, catering type service and meals. Um, one thing we're looking at doing is we're trying to supply for either schools and also uh, um, shelters and, and things of that nature where we can provide daily meals. Um, because a lot of times we think about shelters, you know, we think about that cafeteria style food that's kind of just no, no pizzazz. Yeah. And I realized that, you know, even though you have to uh, cook for a lot of people, so you have to run a budget for staying. But you know, seasonings to a degree, if you know how to do things properly and use it properly, the right portions, you're not spending that much more money to actually have food taste a certain way to give that different flair. Mm -hmm. You really would be surprised that you can do a lot more uh, for shelters and for schools to give great tasting food, and we're not even talking about a lot more money to do it. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm pushing to do to to start to get into that area where I can give, you know, homeless uh, shelters and, and schools, instead of just getting that plain regular thing to have a real nutritious and experience with different regions of the of the world with different food. So that is a, that's, that's a kind great of, idea. Right. So that's kind of where Chef LaPierre came from. Um, the LaPierre is actually a combination of my middle name. My middle name is Pierre. Um, and my wife's name is Lachey, so I kind of put it together and did uh, Chef Lapierre. So, uh, oh, that's fantastic. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, that's great to know. And have you? Um, do you do you have partners that you're working with now with the homeless shelters or schools, or are you kind of still in in uh, development with that? Still in development. We've been um, we're setting up a few tastings with a few uh, shelters um, in the DC area, uh, trying to actually uh, show them some of the quality food that we can provide. Um, so we're kind of working on that and, and using also the, the Angel uh, Food Bank as a catapult to kind of share some of that food that we're putting out there so people can get a taste and kind of see. So um, so that's kind of what I am doing at this point right now, uh, taking catering jobs for businesses, things like that, um, providing for, you know, 25 and up type people, 25 and up and up, not a people. Um, gotcha. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, that that that's really great. I'm 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 so happy to hear that. And if anybody wants more information about that part of what you're doing, can they uh, go on to? Do you have a website, or are you on Facebook that they can? I do find have you? a website. It's uh, cheflapierre.com. Um, that's easy to can, remember. Yep, right, right, right. And there you can actually send an inquiry there um, if they wanted to uh, get a quote for uh, some meals. Um, also, I'm on Instagram, uh, uh, Chef LaPierre also on Instagram. And on my website, you'll see some of the dishes and things that I've, uh, I've created. Uh, one of them is going to be a confit jerk chicken, which is actually jerk chicken cooked in duck fat. Yeah. Um, so blending a little bit of the uh, French and Caribbean uh, together with different meals. And oh. uh, so different little unique things that are, are really, really good um, with uh with, you know, blending and fusing different, uh, different cultures. Wow. It really sounds delicious. <laughs> 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 that's, that's really yeah. great. 
Uh, yeah. That's uh, I, I love the idea. And again, that's cheflapier.com if anybody wants to, uh, you know, more information about that. Uh, so that, that's great, Sean. Good luck. Good luck to you with, uh, with, with everything on that. And, and, and thank you for your, all the... Uh-huh. Mm, go ahead. I said, now that you've had your, your, your main course, now we can turn over to our, the dessert. That's right. Especially. We can have, save the best for last, right? Thank yeah. you, Sean. It was great to meet you. <laughs> all right. Take care. Thank you. Hi, Leticia. Hi, Susan. How are you? Good. I should say Chef Leticia. I'm very good. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you and to see you, you on camera. Thank you so much for making time for ZTV Live and coming on and telling us all about this wonderful work you, that you're doing with the Gourmet Angel Food Bank. Um, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, well, where should I start? So I've been cooking desserts um, since I was nine. Um, I would just kind of stand in the kitchen and observe my mom and my grandmother and all of the older women in my family. I'm a visual learner. So, of course, I just sit there and I watched and I watched everything that they did. Um, and then I started just preparing desserts for my immediate family and then just on a larger scale. And here I am now. That That is so great. So many people... Um uh, chefs and, and cooks, they're just, you know, their inspiration, you know, nine times out of 10 is their mom and their grandmother. <laughs> because I mean, that's really where you learn to cook, right? You're standing in the kitchen with your mother when, you know, when you're home and, and your grandmother. So, um, uh, and, and how did you, um, were, were, did, were the, did they specialize in sweets? Because that's your specialty in desserts and sweets and that kind of thing. They, yeah, actually they did. Um, just recently, a couple of years ago, I was talking to my mom on the phone and she was just giving me a lot of information like on the background of a lot of the women in my family. Um, and I come, apparently I come from a long line of bakers and they made everything from scratch. So as far as like desserts, um, like coconut cake, pound cake, just anything that you can think of, like they could make it. It was interesting. So I actually had her, um, give me a lot of the recipes that were actually passed down. So I've incorporated a lot of that into what I do now. Wow. Um, that's fantastic. You know, and, and I forgot when Shelly was on, but I do have some photographs of some of the things that you made. Um, so I want to go ahead and show some of those photographs as you're talking about some of the desserts that you make. And I'm going to, um, uh, do a, a description of your, uh, the first one is this, uh, strawberry chocolate, strawberry chocolate cake. That looks delicious. And then there's also, uh, is this a, a pumpkin pie? That is the sweet potato pie. Sweet potato pie. Mm, yeah. Delicious. And the cherry lattice pie, uh, which is yeah. beautiful. Uh, and then the, uh, what 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 is this? This cute little um, they're little individually wrapped things with the built-in spoons. What 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 is that? So um, actually, I believe I just prepared that one this past weekend. Um, that is a dessert sampler. So that consisted of lemon meringue pie, um, banana cream jars. Um, what else? Uh, chocolate mousse um, oh. cupped into like a white chocolate little cup. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm missing one more. What is it? It is something else. Yeah, there was something else on there. Another white spot, banana, chocolate mousse. I can't think of it. It's, it, it was another one. It was four uh -huh. different desserts in that sampler. Um, yeah, and then well, it's the just... thing that's not pictured is the um, melon sorbet. Oh delicious well and they it, they the, it's just the packaging is so cute with the with the little spoons like that and then of course who doesn't love a cake with a bunch of oreos on top and the cherries that 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 looks that looks beautiful also <laughs> so that yeah that all that all really looks delicious um what is your favorite dessert to make oh oh you know what now this is my favorite dessert creme brulee Oh yeah. And it's fun to make. I honestly, I enjoy making, um, any kind of dessert, um, because it makes me happy. So mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, everything's my favorite. 
Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's good. Um, how did you end up getting involved with, with Chef Shelley um, with the Gourmet Angel Food Bank? Um, so when COVID-19 happened, um, the beginning of COVID-19, um, of course, my full-time position um, decreased, which allowed me more time to kind of focus on my business. And I'm a part of the entrepreneurship ministry at Alpha Street Baptist Church. So I saw um, the emails that Sherry kept sending out as far as needing help. So I just had this feeling to email her and just ask like, hey, do you guys need, you know, desserts? Um, I can help prepare. And luckily she emailed me back and said, yes, we need 200 desserts. So <laughs> <laughs> Did you say, so oh my gosh, 200, but you probably knew it was going to be a pretty big number. I actually didn't. I freaked out a little bit, but then I said, okay, I got it. <laughs> but then you, get, then you got over and you said, hey, I love making desserts. So you bet 200, here they come. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's really great. Um, and where can people, um, are, and are you in Alexandria? Is your, uh, And your company is called Green Street Suites, right? It's Green Street Suites, so sometime very soon, um, we we found a property actually in the heart of Delray, oh. which is not too far from where I live. Um, so that's going to be our our location. Um, but I am on Instagram um, under Green Street underscore Suites, and then as far as my website is GreenStreetSuites.com. Okay, terrific. And that's green with an e at the end of it. So it's G R E N E street suites.com so yes. well good luck with your uh property in del rey i know that del rey loves sweets and so they are going to welcome you with open arms i know <laughs> thank you thank you so much sure sure um uh well i got to say um you know thank you for the work that you're doing with the gourmet angel food bank i mean i just think it's a a wonderful idea i i um i wonder how many families go right to the dessert first <laughs> Do you think, does anybody ever do that? I have, I have a good friend of mine that's, she's, she's a dessert first girl. So I'm sure yeah. that, yeah, I yeah. bet you are too. I am. <laughs> I had a feeling. Uh, well, that's really great. Well, um, I just want to thank all of you and I don't know if they can kind of gather around behind you, um, in the camera, but, uh, there they are. There's Shelly and Sean. Hi guys. And Sherry and Reba. Thank you all so, so, so much for coming on ZTV Live tonight and telling us all about your wonderful story and your um, just spoiling all the people who are getting all that yummy, delicious food. And um, thank you so much for making time for us and coming on ZTV Live. I am going to go ahead and put some of the, uh, the phone number is on the comments and we can put um, uh, the information and I think people know where to get a hold of you now. So um, thank you again. And did, did you guys have any anything else you wanted to add about looking for donations or anything else you wanted to say? I just wanted to say thank you to Pastor Oliver and the members of Mount Jethro Baptist Church in Alexandria for allowing us to use their site for this recording and as our new distribution location. Good. And we will thank be you, Sherry. There will also be some more chefs joining us very soon as well. We'll also attend our church in Alexandria. And we're going to have a young man named Mr. Brian Nails joining us. And another chef from Washington, Maryland, her name is Liz. She'll be joining us very soon, too, with her baby cakes. So come join us and have a wonderful meal. Oh, terrific. That's great. Thank you, Reba. And thank you, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us on our show. We just, uh, good luck to you. And um, we'll look for your for your new store, for your new store, Letitia. That sounds really great. And we'll look for everybody else also. And let's hope that everybody is back to, to business as normal soon. And I think it's really wonderful that you're all continuing this even after business does go back to normal. So thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Take care, guys. All right. Okay, well, that was, uh, boy, that was really wonderful to meet everybody. I'd just like to, to thank them for coming on ZTV Live. And I'd like to wish um, all the dads out there a very happy Father's Day uh, for this Sunday. And I want to thank you all for tuning in this week to ZTV Live. We're off tomorrow night, and then we will see you on next Monday. Steve Hauck will be there with his Music Monday. So until then, please remember to be the good news in someone's life.